Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and we are back with another custom map created by Lex the Legend, and I want to say fantastic job in making these maps, especially this one, because I, I played through most of it before recording this, and actually, it was a lot of fun. The lag isn't that intense, uh, and the battles are pretty incredible, so that's what I have to say about it. So far, uh, it is called the Retaliation. Now, this map takes place after the last video I made on his custom maps. And speaking of those videos, I will actually put all of them in a playlist because it really is a campaign. And so you guys will be able to find all of them right in the same spot and be able to watch through them so you know what's going on. Because right now, I don't think I have a playlist for it and these just pop up at random times on the channel, it seems, so I can understand how it would be a little bit confusing. Uh, so I will take care of that. But anyway, this one takes place right after the last uh, mission of his that I played through where we just scraped by at the end uh, with our vessel and not much of our fleet was left. Some enemy vessels were strewn around the system. But we did technically win, even though we did lose, I think, our, our main command post, which we probably had to keep. So this takes place after that. So the Federation is winning this war and we found one of the enemy's main command posts and actually I'm going to look at the the, the message that I was sent describing all this. So I had semi-successfully defended Earth, however what was left of Lex's fleet had to destroy the rest of the enemy vessels. So we are unable to take on any enemy fleets on our own, so the Federation has gathered what's left of their vessels to help us out here. Let's see, Deep Space Nine has not been restored, so we have a, a Watchtower space station uh, as its replacement temporarily. Uh, we found one of the prime command centers of the aliens in this quadrant. Let's see, they have rallied all their surviving vessels at Bajor for the defense of their own base. Although it's not a lot of ships, it's still a sizable force. I've been recalled to Bajor to find this base and destroy it, thus eliminating the enemy resistance in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. So really, if we win this battle, we virtually win the war, or at least we come a, a long way closer to winning the war. Uh, let's see, I do, 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 already read that. Okay, so... Lex's personal command ship, the Lexington, which is the uh, Section 31 Galaxy Class Starship, along with Voyager, will accompany me in the, I think it's the Cadet version of the Defiant Class, so it's that variant. It looks really cool. Is so there accompanying me in my mission? Yeah, he commands the Section 31 Galaxy. There's something I should know. Most of our fleets are either destroyed or undergoing repairs or fighting in other sectors, so... My fleet this time will be small and consists of mostly veteran motion picture era and original series era vessels. There are some heavy warships the enemy has. Unfortunately, our chances of survival are terribly low, since the best vessels are my ship, Lexus Section 31 Galaxy, and uh, the Voyager. Luckily, the Romulans, however, have offered their assistance and are supplying us with eight Tal Shiar Warbirds, which may turn the tide in our favor. I have a feeling that definitely won't hurt. So we have to find the enemy base and destroy it. Our objectives are to, well, obviously destroy the enemy command center, attempt to eliminate all enemy resistance. Uh, the Lexington must survive. At least one Warbird must survive. That's a bonus objective. I... Should try not to die, if possible. One Tokyo class must survive. That's a bonus objective. The Tokyo class is a lot like the original series sounding class, except the warp engine is above the saucer. That's at least how I think of it. Uh, we have to destroy the Tigor star bases to reduce radiation nebulas, if we want to. That's a bonus objective. And do not let the new Deep Space Nine be destroyed. We can fall back if necessary. Lag might not be an issue. I already checked, and it isn't that much of a, a problem. It still exists, but not to the same degree as before. Uh, do not let Cardassian defense platforms intimidate me, so... Okay, stay in formation, stay as a group, and win. That is my objective. That is exactly what I plan to do. For those of you who were wondering what I was reading, I was reading an email that was sent to me. You guys just saw this screen, however, frozen. Well, now that is about to change when I hit the enter key, which is now. And look at that, the map, the map, I was trying to say a combination of a few words, it didn't work, the map is loading. And there it is, here's our fleet, a little bit of lag, 
especially when I, when I look that way. But right here, everything is smooth. There's the Lexington. Let me just double check that everything is running smoothly, and indeed it is. We are ready to go. Okay, our fleet is up here. We have Yenich class vessels, uh, Proxima class refits, Miranda class, Star Stalker class. There's a Soyuz class, the Bozeman, Tokyo class, uh, Miranda class, Oberth class ships, all kinds of fun things. Uh, there are a few Tau Shior Warbirds down there, and we also have some up here in the upper left-hand section. Uh, here is a strong enemy presence. We have a, what is this? A Terran Empire Galaxy Class Venture Refit. USS Voyager again, so, <laughs> wait a minute, there's a Voyager on our side and theirs? I am mildly confused, but it does not... Surprise me that much. This game likes to repeat names a lot. Ooh, and Excalibur class transwarp ship. This one will cause lag. I am positive of that. Here's another enemy force, a bunch of Cardassian stations and shipyards and vessels. And over here is that ring of dangerous radiation. And I'm assuming, maybe because I've I played the map before off recording. I'm assuming there's probably a secret alien base there that isn't so secret anymore that we're going to go attack. But first, let's start moving our forces together. I'm going to tell all of our vessels to impulse to here. And that is exactly what they are doing. You told me not to warp straight at them, uh, so that is not what we I'm going company. to do. Instead, I'm going to impulse straight at them because maybe if I move slow enough, they'll be confused by that tactic and they won't shoot at me. That's, that's my theory anyway. There is the fleet. The lag is not that bad until we get in visual range of the ships over there by those uh, shipyards. Then, then uh, bad things start to happen with the frames. Also, I think. Well, actually, I think uh, the the frame rate's pretty good. Looking back there too. We have company. So Deep Space Nine A, <laughs> the Vanguard Watchtower. There it is. Ah, there is the Proxima class refit. Definitely one of my favorite vessels from the We're motion picture era in this game. It looks. Utterly fantastic. It, it's an impressive starship. It looks powerful, and indeed it is. A bunch of Abe class ships with their torpedo launchers on top. We have a Star Stalker class We're back there. Constellation class. Long Island class. Early Next We're Generation Era, so we do have a Next Generation Era vessel. Uh, there is the Bozeman right there, the Soyuz class. We have the Tokyo class ships up there. Those have original series phasers installed. There are the Dederdix class ships and Talshar Warbirds, so it seems there's a mix between the two. Miranda class 3. I've forgotten what that looks like. I think it has these cool phaser rays in the front, but I'm not sure. Why did we slow... Okay, we slowed down because we actually arrived where we, where we were supposed to go. Enemy vessels detected. Saratoga to fleet. So the enemy is not actually... Uh, seen us yet or if they have they're just not that interested they're gonna probably stay in the same spot for a while okay what is that oberth class guardian reef let's get a closer look at this miranda class uh something is causing lag in this direction heck it could even be me we're in position we have arrived at our destination probably the collection of shipyards on the left side of the screen let's see what's over here okay yeah it does have interesting Phaser rays, but they're on the on the orders. sides right here. At least I think they're we phasers. They look cool. They do look cool. Maybe they aren't phasers. I don't remember. Constellation to fleet. Maybe they're long-range communications arrays. I haven't used that ship in forever. So here's the Federation fleet. The Romulans are closing, and we could warp. You told us not to warp, so okay. I guess I won't warp. What I will do is I will plot a course to attack the Excalibur class, because I know that will cause the most lag. And I guess people didn't want to actually follow those instructions. Come on, there we go. Now everyone's going. I am going to cloak. The fleet's moving out. There they are. <laughs> oh, the, the lag. Probably not from the ships, probably more so from the, the space station behind. But the fleet is back there. Let 
Everyone is actually moving at about the same speed, too. Usually, I just... Whichever ships are the quickest go first. We have company. Before it gets too laggy, let's let's look around and see what's here. So we have an Akira class ship from the Terran Empire, Defying class. Uh, okay, that that. Okay, so yeah, this is really the last large force of ships. The, this sector is all that really remains of the unknown the alien force. Ooh, a Romulan command post from the Enterprise era. That is very green. Locked. All right, our fleet should be about ready to open fire, especially those Romulan warbirds. Those will have a pretty long range. I'm trying to look this way, but it's okay. Okay, all right, just step. Moving into attack position. My cloak is about to uncloak. So oh, I hear things. Let's try to look at things. Oh, lag. I apologize deeply. Not much I can do about that we except look away. Oh, I, I and I'm hearing, hearing things happening. Time to decloak. Target the Excalibur class. Open fire. Their shields are gone. The traitor demands your destruction. Engaging target. Our shields are down. Incoming quantum torpedoes. But the Excalibur the class was destroyed. That's that's good. Target the defense platform. Their forward shield is destroyed. We have come. Moving into attack position. And the other one. Threat neutralized. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. And the command post. Threat neutralized. Romulan vessel destroyed. Okay, I guess I, I can't look around right now. The lag is pretty intense. Engaging target. Heading set. Engaging target. Alright, our, our fleet's doing pretty well so far. There is the Tokyo yeah, class. Lock, Moving into attack position. Oh, oh. Here's the fun. Kesak assault ship. Not anymore. Threat neutralized. Ooh, the Husnuk? Husnuk Dreadnought. There we go. I pronounced it right. You happy? I'm happy. Engaging target. There's another Tokyo class. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. New enemy vessels detected. Full power to the shield systems on all ships. Ooh, those were some torpedoes they just shot at us. Their forward shield is destroyed. Their computers are offline. Threat neutralized. How many of them are left? Not that many over here. I can't really look around because of the lag problems, but the lag problems aren't as intensive as they usually are. Usually I can't do anything. We've destroyed the target. All right, the next vessel to attack should be the Cheyenne, I think. Take out that galaxy class. If I wanted to, I could completely fight from the uh, tactical map view. Oh, even the map is lagging. That's when you know things are bad. Right? If I hold control, it'll fire phasers. If I uh, hit alt, it fires torpedoes. Setting course. We're taking a beating. We All right, don't any know any chain reaction? Okay, I I just flew into the middle of We're some explosions. A We're taking a beating. Engaging target. Let's look around again. Engaging target. I'm trying to look at it. There it is for a brief instant. At this still frame, you can see the enemy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh wow.
I don't know what it is I just heard, but uh, I am I am near death now. That was loud and unwelcome. There's the Voyager. It was not this laggy in the simulations. I think I just won't look. Threat neutralized. Setting course. Now that that was fun and all, I'll, I'll, I'll admit set. that, but it wasn't difficult. Here's where we may lose a few vessels, because now there are a lot more uh, defense platforms which aren't that powerful, but they are somewhat uh, aggressive looking. Advanced advanced Cardassian dry dock, a Cardassian starbase, a Hattet class, uh, another dry dock, dry dock. Two Galore class ships and a Breen warship. That's gonna be fun. On our way. We're in position. Let's attack the starbase. Helm maintain current status. We have company. The Ticonderoga is still there. You can actually get a look at the fleet now, I think. For the most part, maybe. Somewhat. It could even be the Intrepid class vessel causing lag. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's something on the left edge of my screen right there. Because before, yeah, right now, look, completely clear. Once I bring the Lexington into view, everything breaks down. It could be the Lexington, guys. I don't know how. Or why. But it could be. Once the Lexington goes out of view, look at that. All the Dederdix class ships, pretty smooth. Lexington comes back into view. Things freeze. There's your answer, guys. Lex himself has sabotaged my frames. That's okay, though. Still a lot of fun. Let's look. Let's look away from that. Well, let's let's try. Oh, there's the. Uh, oh, oh no. Our shields are down. <laughs> we have company. Problems are already being had, uh, and, and a lot of torpedoes are hitting those ships up there. Let's take a look at that in the tactical map, because I obviously can't look at it here. Um, oh, that didn't do that much at all. Hmm. Okay. It's open fire. <clears throat> Their shields are down. What I like about that advanced starbase is that not only is it a, a really huge starbase, but it also has a Hattet class in uh, dry dock right now. Docked to it, so that's pretty cool. Although it, it actually is just one unit. That's not a separate ship that can... Um, we have arrived at our destination. Undock and fight. It's part of the station. Klingon ship spotted. You can hear those old phasers. We've destroyed the target. Helm, stand by for command. Let's attack the advanced dry duck. Oh, oh my gosh, my ears. Stand by on phasers. Not possible, Captain. Threat neutralized. All kinds of things are going on. Moving in to Did we lose any ships to that? Destroyed the target. I don't we think so. Starbase destroyed. Next target. Moving in to attack position. And I think the dry dock's done for as well. Yep. Taking a beating. Their forward shield is destroyed. Yeah, it's losing stability and it's gone. Engaging target. Let's go back into target the tactical destroyed. map. Anything left that isn't destroyed. We have one of these. Helm maintain current status. Helm, maintain current state. Do I still have weapons?
we have company. Yes. We've destroyed the target. Their forward shield is destroyed. All right. Destroyed. Oh, that one also has a galore class in it. That's cool. On our way. Threat neutralized. Engaging target. Yeah, the warbirds really are helping a lot. They're taking a lot of the hits and doing a lot of damage. Enemy vessel detected. We destroy the target. And they put out a lot of firepower too. Their forward shield is destroyed. Neutralized. We've destroyed the target. I'm resisting the lag. We've destroyed the target. Their forward shield is destroyed. New enemy vessel detected. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Threat neutralized. Engaging target. Oh, Engaging I can't look target. this way. There we go. Now I have a lock. Their shields are gone. Their app port shield is destroyed. Let's put power back to all systems. Diverting power, Captain. Target destroyed. Actually, no. Back to we shields. That's a very target. large thing that's about to explode. It'll probably take a few ship. things with it. Target yep. Destroyed. I think I just lost a Tokyo class. Yes, I did. Awaiting orders. We're taking a beating. We're in position. Setting course. New enemy vessels detected. Their damage control systems are offline. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Do I still have the Ticonderoga? Is she still running around? Yes! There it is. What a cool ship. Okay, that's destroyed. We have Galore class, not for long. Oh, there's that sound again. The weapons get really amplified for a split second, and it's it's painful. We have company. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. There we go, the defense platform over there. I think we're doing pretty well, especially with power to the shields. Ah, there lies the enemy. A lot of ships still left. I don't know how many we've lost, but it is not not a large amount. Is there a way around this? Not really. Let's just uh, go right through it. How about that? Let's just target the embassy. See what happens. Oh, lag. There's things waiting there for us. Laggy things on the horizon. I will cloak. Is acknowledged. Just to be safe. Decloaking. Engaging target. Moving into attack position. I think this uh it's Tokyo class. No, it's a Yenitz class. Or Genghis? Genghis? Engaging target. I'm I'm confused now. I'm gonna keep calling it a Yenitz class just because the J can be pronounced that way sometimes. I think its engines are out. Uh, the Lexington is still there. 
We're gonna just bypass the Klingon Starbase entirely and try to hit the command center. There goes a the brave little, uh, Oberth class with no shields. Oh, I'm sensing lag. Yep. Yes. That is bad. Whatever's happening over there is, is not a good thing. Let's take a look at it. Well, they are opening we fire. Out much longer. We've entered the nebula, Captain. Entered the nebula, got it. And we just lost the cloak. We were just struck by Moving lightning. Attack position. Let's target Command Prime. If we can. Engaging target. We've left the nebula, Captain. Let's actually just stop moving. If I don't shoot these guys, they won't shoot me. In that case, full power to the weapon systems. I'm replacing the isolinear chips for computer assisted targeting. And this, this may take a while. Actually, fine. Let's target the starbase. Enemy vessel detected. It's making me tired. Disruptor fire will be the last thing you ever see again. Their shields are gone. It's making radiation. Not for long. They have lost main power. Wow. Look at that. Whatever's happening. Destroyed. It was beautiful. Proceeding to warp. Let's try to keep people away from that explosion. Warping to your coordinates. New enemy vessels detected. Our shields are down. Threat neutralized. Okay, the Section 31 Galaxy warped right in front of my screen. I have no way to... to look at the target without actually looking at the Galaxy class. Okay. This is nice. Engaging target. On our way. Moving into attack position. Heading set. Oh. We're actually doing damage. More quickly than I anticipated. Engaging target. We have company. Come on, let's look this way. What's on this side of the screen? Let me see. Resistance is futile. Well, I guess that's more of a, a Borg thing. Weapons locked. Come on, let me... Away. Let me Threat look. Neutralized. That unit's oh. class is still we down there. The target. All hands abandon ship! We've destroyed the target. It's a fun Guns things are happening. All hands abandon ship. Stand by on phases. Full power shields. I think we've we've angered the vessels that were garrisoned here. Alright, I suggest we uh make an escape right now. Proceeding to warp. Cling on target destroyed. New enemy vessels detected. Not sure how many of us are going to make it through this explosion here. This is huge. This is gigantic. Seeing ships left and right. Taking a beating. We've destroyed the target. 
Heading set. Oh, not that bad. Although I can't look at anything behind me. It's not that bad. Proceeding to warp. Nearest target. Let's take it out. Whatever it is. All hands abandon ship. Threat neutralized. We've lost sensors. Proceeding to warp. We can't hold out much longer. Our shields are down. Awaiting orders. On our way. Okay, now the fun's happening. As in fun, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of scary we stuff's company. going down. Ah, ship is in the middle of warping right there. Wow, that, that, is, that is gigantic. And it stopped. Okay. My, my game is having a bad time. Nimitz class. That's a laggy machine right there. Have to destroy that. We have arrived at our destination. Threat neutralized. Come on. Their aft port shield is destroyed. Yeah, that is one laggy starship. I'm just gonna not look at it. We've destroyed the target. Their shields are gone. Phaser recharge rate. Okay, I guess I, I will look at it now. New enemy vessels detected. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Targeting the, the uh, Dominion battleship. If possible. I think I'm targeting it. Target. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Threat neutralized. We can't hold out much longer. Engaging target. There's the uh, Bozeman, the Soyuz class, still fighting. Almost destroyed, but still in one piece. I like those weapons on that. Look at that. Those pulse phasers? Those are really cool. They had those in the Star Stalker class as well. Threat neutralized. I'll need everything you have. Warp speed. I don't know if, uh... Well, let's just try to keep everyone clear of that uh, explosion. Okay, the Bozeman we did make company. it. Target the Voyager. Or not. We'll target this first. That's fine. Their forward shield is destroyed. Target destroyed. Ah! Awaiting orders. I cannot target this. That is really weird. Their forward shield is destroyed. This is a problem. Helm, get us out of here. Warp one, engage. Enemy vessel detected. I cannot target this. Oh, that's we so weird. Our destination. So many different levels of weird. Voyager to fleet. Ah, there we go. Finally targeted it just long enough to get the phasers to work. Next target is the probably either a defense platform or a station. Or that, a bat left class. Do that too. There it is. I can actually look at this thing. Fight, you honorous dog. Wow, those torpedoes. Target <laughs> wow. Company. That was insane. Oh, oh no, did I just. Okay, I thought something else exploded. I guess I was wrong. Ooh, the Voyager's lost a starboard to sell. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Target destroyed. Of 
Guess we can target this. Still have a lot of starships left. Any Tokyo class ships? Let's see. Um, no, that's a negative. There are no more of those left. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Bring on target destroyed. Is the Bozeman still around? That's the vessel that uh. The Enterprise D was caught in the causal temporal loop with. Our shields are down. We've destroyed the target. Uh, shields are gone. Bozeman? We Bozeman? Or is that the Miranda class? The Miranda class. Uh, oh yes, the Bozeman's ah, ah. right there. But vessels are being just we just lost the Voyager. That's not a good time. Did we lose them to the Borg enhanced USS Voyager? Maybe. Maybe it was an explosion. From uh, the Klingon Starbase. That could also be the case. Or from this Gal Galaxy Class Evolution Pulse. Evolution. Blah. Evolution Pulse we're fighting at. Oh, I can't speak words. Maybe they also shot at the Voyager and destroyed it. Because they are returning fire a little bit. At least I think so. Alright, vessel destroyed. Let's target this. Phaser recharge rate at minimum. Destroyed. Anything line. left Target in the destroyed. map? Let's turn on the long range sensors. Initiating long range sensor scan. No? We can't hold out much longer. No. Guys, the uh this unknown alien force has been destroyed. There's nothing left. We did lose the Voyager, but the Lexington's still intact. Wherever it is. There it is, Lexington. And actually, now the lag has stopped. Okay, we have a lot of Romulan vessels left. Oh, uh, this might kill the Bozeman if they get hit. Because I know those lightning bolts actually do damage. And if their hull is as low as it is, that well, looks like they made it through. No, we're not going to lose any ships to that. Let's rendezvous with this disabled vessel. Heading set. Ares. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warp over there. Warp speed. Oh, we are really far out. Aborting warp, Captain. On our way. Heading set. Engaging tractor beam. Uh, she took quite a few hits, looks like. Well, that was uh, the most recent map in Lex the Legend's series of maps. Retaliation. We fought back against the uh, unknown aliens. We've destroyed all of their large forces in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. And I really think that this war is, if not over, then really close to being over. So if you guys enjoyed this a uh, battle between the Federation and their older vessels and the unknown or the Federation with their older vessels and the Romulans and the unknown aliens well then please be sure to leave this video a like and if you are not subscribed and you want to see more well then please subscribe because there's always more Star Trek legacy on this channel if for whatever reason however you guys did not enjoy the video might have been because of lag I don't know I do apologize for that and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when watching them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that. And I will read through all of those suggestions and various ideas. And I will do my best to use those recommendations in my future videos. So... As always, I am Foxtrot Delta. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time.